the last time we were talking about uh, falling asleep or not being able to sleep so this time I'm going to give you six seven different ways of falling asleep obviously also based not only on my patients but also on my own uh, rhythm at the end I'm going to give you a short demonstration of the dream walk the method I use with all my patients so let's start now This is not only for ADHDs, it's for everybody. There are many, many people who are not ADHDs who can't fall asleep. But when we go to bed, it's almost a guarantee that we can't sleep, while others seem to have a choice. The worst thing is our brain tends to be over-focused. Over-focused on things that at the moment are very interesting and within a couple of hours you are from uh, thinking about food to thinking about deep philosophical thoughts and so on and so on none of them is worth anything so you're just lying there and thinking what the hell can i do first of all don't think try to cut off those stupid thoughts Replace them with something where you say, ah, that sounds nice. Like uh, I would think about uh, what do I write in the next chapter of my book? And then I remember that I don't remember what I wrote in the last one. So I first would have to read it. So my brain is working on a little bit in remembering. And when I finally remember it, I'm so satisfied that I fall asleep before I can think about the next chapter. So the same procedure is going to happen the next day again, obviously. Close down the phone. Shut it off. You don't need that darn phone. And don't have sounds when everything is totally quiet. Don't have something that's a tick, 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 tick. Like we had right now. And since it was totally quiet here in the room, this little sound would have kept me awake during the whole night. Because we are so hypersensitive. So see to it, either having light music the whole night, or until you're totally deep gone, or just forget about sleeping and have your sounds. Tick, 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 tick everywhere. And then there will other, be other days where I can look at the bed and say, bye bye, not for me tonight and not for me today. And if I then clever, and there are actually times when I'm clever, uh, doesn't happen too often, but it happens. Uh, then I start working, I start writing on my books, I start painting again or do something like that. Uh, work on tests that I've made and uh, with, with different patients and uh, analyzing everything. So using the time when you can't sleep in any way, don't sit and swear over not being able to sleep. It's so stupid. Our brain produces something that's called melatonin and serotonin. Serotonin is to make you feel happy in a way. Melatonin is there to correct your sleep pattern. And your brain also uh, uh, wants to sleep and says, this is time to sleep. Then it uses the melatonin and it uses magnesium. Those two things are tremendously important for us in order to function. Melatonin, you can also buy in every health shop. In, uh, where, where, where you can buy those natural supplements. Uh, uh, they don't harm anybody, they don't hurt anybody, but they help your brain to stimulate the brain so it can produce more of the melatonin. Uh, and that is the important thing, that we always just support our brains the way they have, be, they have to be. Do something, do something really boring, like uh, uh, filling your declaration for tax and, and stuff like that. Uh, 
unless you get totally furious, you will find it tremendously boring. They should have used a very simple method, like how much have you made this year and uh, how much did you save this year? And uh, the third point is, when can we pick it up? All of it. So, do something boring, as I say. That's absolutely the best thing to do. But the most important, I think, is you drink a little bit. Don't drink a whole bloody bottle. Because we are greedy. We ADHD. If we take something, we want to take it all or nothing. It's this black and white thing. I hate to admit it, but we all are like that. And that's why we are prone to having problems. Because if we go out and drink a beer or two or three, that's devastating. Don't do that in the middle of the night. Just take a bottle of water. But there are critical situations when even I can't fall asleep. You know what I'm doing then? 1973, that's 45 years ago, I invented something that is called the dream walk. I was so much ADHD, I couldn't find any rest in myself. And I always had the bad thoughts and all that stuff and anxiety, enormous anxiety. And also depressions. So I created the dream walk and I can only recommend you, since then I've sold thousands of it. Here I'm just giving you a short demonstration. The first thing is my voice is going to be darn boring. That's what you need. Come on, if I come with an excited, okay, lie down now and have a good time. Uh, I don't think it would relax you so much. So that's why I run it as a form of hypnosis. Meaning, you lie down, you just relax. Relax as much as you can, close your eyes, just enjoy. All sounds from the outside, they're not interesting. They don't bother us. Just concentrate on my words, listen to my words, and do exactly what I tell you. Just visualize. So you go through your whole body, start relaxing the whole body. Your head, your forehead, no wrinkles, your eyes, feels like they're getting deep inside of your head. Nose, your mouth, no muscles, no tensions. Just let it open. Down to your neck and your throat. No tensions whatsoever. You don't listen to any other sounds. Just hear my voice and visualize what I'm telling you. Go down to your shoulders, your chest, your back, down to your mid, buttocks, your thighs, calves, feet. Hands and relax. Feel like there's no tension left anywhere. Just relax. Feel good. Then you're going up again. All the way up. Calves, your knees, your thighs. Buttocks, your hip. Control that there are no tensions wherever. Your back, your stomach, your chest. When you're relaxing, 
your breathing, see to it that it's your stomach that goes up and down, not your chest. So now go out to your arms, elbows, hands, fingers, no tensions whatsoever. No tensions whatsoever. Just relax. Just relax. Okay. That should be enough as a little bit temptation. After that, the brain walk means that I'm taking you on a walk through a forest, on a staircase high up in heaven. You're getting to a big place up there. You open it up and go inside and there's loads of doors and every door has a little secret for you that you can use. And then you go on. Let it be a surprise. And please, Enjoy it. You take good care. Bye.